Chapter 2. Babette is tall and very ample. There is a girth and depth to her. Her hair is a fanatical blonde mop. A particular common thing that used to be called heavy blonde. If she were a petite woman, the hair would be too cute, too mischievous, and too fine. I said to her, Where? It's the day of the station wagons. I miss it again. It's supposed to remind me. They stretched all the way down past the music library. Brown. They gleamed in the sun like a desert caravan. You know I need reminding, Jack. Babette has the careless dignity of someone too preoccupied with serious matters. Like, not that she is a gift bearer of great things as the world generally reckons them. She gathers and tends the children, teaches a course in an adult education program, belongs to a group of volunteers who read to the blind. Once a week, he reads to an elderly man named Codwell who lives on the edge of town. He is known as Old Man, as if he were a landmark, a rock formation, or brooding swamp. She reads to him from the National Enquirer. 